Oh, no, no, no. She'd done that many times already. <clears throat> oh, I know. To visit the queen and princess. No, Karen. Think. Hmm? Oh, to study her lessons. Oh, Karen. Very good. Now, as she was in her room, <coughs> studying, it happened that one day she looked out the window of her lovely home and saw that the queen was traveling through the countryside with her daughter, who was, of course, the, the princess. <laughs> As the royal couple made their way through the admiring throng, Karen noticed that the princess did not wear a crown. A no crown? No, or a royal train. But she did have on a splendid pair of... What? Red Moroccan... Shoes. What were they like? Karen, they were the finest smoothest, most perfect shoes in the entire world. Every time that Karen looked at herself in the mirror after this, all she could think of was the beautiful princess and her splendid red shoes. There's nothing in the world like a pair of red shoes. Is that really what she would say? If we're making the story up, and if I'm to be Karen, that's what she would say. Oh. <laughs> Very well, then. Where do we go from here? To buy Karen a pair of red shoes, silly. You should know that. Are you feeling a little better, Karen? Well, per perhaps a little better. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Uh, we can use one of the ceramic shoes from your collection. Um, now, uh, when Karen was old enough to uh, graduate school, new clothes were made for her. And she was to have a new pair of shoes. Shoes. 
she said, and slippers too. Today's special set out just so, 100 kroner. doll and Then, the old lady and Karen arrived at the shoemaker's shop. Oh. Oh. Graduation shoes! Black! But, as the shoemaker showed Karen several of black shoes, all of which she hated. A pair of red shoes kept popping out of a drawer, where they glowed wonderfully bright, and Karen knew that she wanted them above all else. Oh, yes. Oh, why, they're lovely. Do you have them? These shoes, please. to cover those great gallops of hers. Oh. <laughs> 